I heard God say that this is your baby dedication season. What does that mean, Donnie Ray? That means that God is asking you to give and dedicate that promise that he's already manifested in your life back to him. Honor him with that thing because he doesn't want it to become an idol to you. If you don't believe me, let's go ask Abraham. We all know that Abraham was laying wait for a son and his barren wife Sarah could not give him one although God had promised it. One day God came through with that promise and God wanted to test Abraham by telling him to go and sacrifice his son on the mountain. Abraham obliged and when he got to the top of that mountain, God had a ram in the bush and because Abraham was so willing to dedicate that first promise back to him, he blessed him as the father of many nations. There's a multiplication attached to your promise, but God wants to see if you're going to give a tenth, if you're going to give that first fruit offering back to him by honoring him with the thing that he has already laid hold within you. If you don't believe me with that, let's go ahead and ask Hannah. Hannah had been barren. Hannah had been crying out to God about a son and then God had sent a prophet to bless her and then she gave birth to Samuel. Samuel went on to be a prophet because Hannah dedicated that seed back to God, dedicated her firstborn son back to God and God blessed her by allowing Samuel to become a prophet who blessed, who ordained David, who was in the lineage of Jesus. You have no idea the promises that are connected to your yes. You have no idea what God is wanting to do through your life. But as long as you stay and you hold your hands closed on that first thing, thinking that God is not going to bless you again, you're going to miss out on the generational thing that he's trying to birth through your bloodline. Don't you allow fear to stop you from dedicating that thing back to God.